Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Now today I'm going to be making something called Sablé Breton. Uh, this is a, a French shortbread type biscuit and there's lots of recipes available for this and they're all pretty similar but the, some have minor differences. So for instance some use baking powder which I'm not going to do and some use some ground almonds which I am going to do. So I guess the baking powder would give an extra little bit of rise and the ground almonds give a slightly different texture and a bit of extra flavour. Um, and so uh, these are usually um, baked in uh, little moulds or rings um, but they can be baked uh, just on a baking tray and let that and the the thickness is dependent on uh, a person's particular preference. So those baked on a baking tray will spread and they become slightly thinner in texture. And those that are baked in a baking mold, or I'm actually going to use a tin which looks like this, which claims to be a muffin tin, but it's not. It's sm The cups are smaller and they've got flat, uh, straight sides. And they're ideal for what I'm going to do. Or if you have um, English muffin rings or crumpet rings, uh, they're good as well for this. If you just have an ordinary muffin tin, you can still use that, but the size of the biscuit won't be uh, straight. That really doesn't matter very much. The other thing is that some people like to brush the top of their biscuit uh, with egg wash and then uh, use a fork to make a pattern on it. Um, and other people don't and for, for these particular ones I'm not going to do that today. So we'll go on to the, the ingredients which are quite simple and they are uh, 150 grams of softened butter and that works out uh, to uh, ten and a half tablespoons or one stick and two and a half tablespoons. I have 125 grams of pastry flour or plain flour and that works out to one cup. I have 90 grams of icing sugar, which is just about two thirds of a cup. And I have 45 grams of ground almonds, which is uh, three eighths of a cup. That's so uh, a quarter of a cup and a half of a quarter as well. Um, I have one medium egg yolk, which weighs about 20 grams. Um, there's a little bit of white in there as well, which brings it up maybe to 22 grams, but uh, uh, that would be a large egg yolk in the USA. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. And I'm going to put the salt into the flour straight away, just so that I don't forget it. And the first thing we're going to do is to cream the butter with the icing sugar. Now, uh, some recipes cream the butter first. You don't want to get, it's the, the aim of this is not to get air in, it's to get the mixture nice and smooth uh, with the sugar, which is why I'm using icing sugar rather than granulated, but you could use caster sugar or granulated sugar. And I'm just giving it a bit of a stir so that when I use my uh, hand mixer, the icing sugar doesn't go absolutely everywhere, which it's prone to do. So now I'm just going to beat that until it's nice and smooth. Okay, that didn't take long at all. And so into that, I'm going to put the vanilla extract and the egg yolk and I'm going to beat those until they're all fully combined. And then I'm going to add the almonds and 
mix those in as well. So that's the almonds mixed in and I'm going to add the salt and the flour now and I'm simply going to mix this on a slow to medium speed until it's all combined and it's beginning to clump a little bit. And so that's just about done, um, apart from scraping down the sides and um, mixing that loose flour in as well. So I'm just going to scrape down the sides and turn this over a little bit to make sure we've got that mixed in. And then what I want to do is to place that onto some plastic wrap. And I'm going to form that into a sort of sausage shape which is about 12 inches long. And so with that formed like that into a log, I'm actually going to put that in the fridge and I'm going to refrigerate it for two hours. And then uh, when I come back, we're going to slice that into 16 pieces and we're going to uh, bake it. So for baking, I'm going to have my oven preheating at 160 Celsius uh, that's 325 Fahrenheit, so that's ready for baking, and I'll have my little uh, tin ready as well. So I'll be back with you when this is chilled for two hours. Okay, so it's been over two hours now, and our pastry uh, dough, or our, our sublay dough, has uh, chilled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into one inch pieces, And I'm going to put each piece into my tin and they're going to spread now you could if you wanted to 
let them uh, come more to room temperature than I have and then I'm going to put them into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes uh, sorry 20 to 30 minutes until uh, they've got a nice golden brown colour and then I'm going to take them out I'll let them cool for a couple of minutes in the tin turn them out onto a wire rack and then I'll come back and show you the results okay so our Sable Breton uh, baked and I baked mine for about 23 minutes and uh, they've turned out quite nicely and uh, this is what they look like now I've, I've upturned them they've, they've sunk a little bit in the middle during baking but that's fine um, so and I think maybe uh, I could have cut them a little bit thinner I mean that's fine for me but uh, some people might like them a little bit thinner than that that would then make more so let's have a taste Mm. they really do taste very very good indeed and that's what they look like on the inside and they, they almost melt in the mouth and I actually that quarter of a teaspoon of salt with the unsalted butter actually does give I can actually taste that on my tongue just that little quarter of a teaspoon of salt so very um, very very nice very buttery of course and very short so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen as ever there will be an eye that you can click on to take you to this recipe and I'll put a link to it as well below the video and I'll be back with you with another recipe in the near future so until then happy baking